In this chapter, we'll be learning the normal concepts of ratios. We'll be looking at the relationship between ratio and total, where we'll be learning how to split a number into a given ratio quickly. We'll also look at the relationship between the difference in the components of a ratio and the total and so on. We learn how to convert a ratio to a percentage relationships. We learn some interesting properties of ratios like component or dividend or and we'll also learn how to use these properties to solve problems. We learn about proportion which is nothing but the equality of two ratios. We learn about variation, the different types of variation, direct inverse and joint variation and as always we will be solving a lot of problems in this chapter which will help us understand these concepts better which will also help us to learn different ways to approach problems on ratios so what we did was we found out the cost for 80 students by using a variable, framing an equation, solving for it and then getting to our answer. We can actually logically think through this problem also without using the variable. We know that the cost has got two parts. One is a fixed part and the other is a variable part which varies according to the number of students. So, our total cost has got a fixed part as well as a variable part. Now, our cost or the total cost increases from 7000 to 13000 when the number of students increase from 30 to 60. You know that the fixed cost remains the same, it doesn't change. So, in effect, we can say that this increase of 6000 in the total cost that is from 7000 to 13000 is caused by the addition of 30 students. That means one student adds 6000 by 30 that is rupees 200 to the variable cost. A fixed cost remains the same. The fixed cost is not going to change with the number of students. So whatever change happens to the variable cost and this change is brought by the 30 students who have got added. So, one student adds rupees 200 to the variable cost. So, now let's get back because we know that the total cost of 30 students is equal to 7000, right? Now, the variable cost of 30 students is equal to 30 into 200 which is equal to 6000. So, that means the fixed cost is equal to 1000 rupees. So this is our fixed cost and this does not depend upon the number of students. So in effect our equation of the total cost becomes our fixed cost plus 200 into the number of students. Now using this we can find the total cost for 80 students. So what will be the variable cost for 80 students? 80 into 200 which is 16,000. What's our fixed cost? 1000. So what's our total cost? 16,000 plus 1,000 which is 17,000. 